Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney Springs. My mom and sister have officially arrived and since we can't go to the parks until tomorrow, I decided to come on down to Disney Springs, show them all the cool things the Springs has to offer and just enjoy a night. Anywho's, let's go do this. Are you guys excited to be in Florida? Oh yeah. Yeah, right? Yep. Sorry that the flight took an extra two days to get down, but you made it and that's all that matters. Yep. And uh, we're gonna have a fun day at Disney Springs. I hope you're ready. I'm very excited for this. I'm very excited just to be with you. Aww. <laughs> if you've seen in the video uh, I posted the other day, their flights got canceled twice. And eventually they ended up actually just coming in at like four o'clock in the morning. So it's been a rough travel time for them, but we're gonna try to make the best of it tonight here at Disney Springs and make up for it. I want to do all the cool things here. The Ampicar at the boathouse. I want to maybe do characters in flight. Well, that's not what it's called anymore. And also, my mom wanted to go to the M&M store and maybe we can get some M&Ms with your face on it. Fancy, right? But the M&M store is that way. This way. My mom had a double kneecap replacement, so she uses an electric scooter to get around, and she also has a cane, so she can't stand for long periods of time. So I'm not sure if the helium balloon is gonna be a good experience for her, but we'll find out all the details. But I'm very excited to do the Ampy car, the, the boat car that drives into the water at the boathouse. I know she's gonna love that, and I'm already booked for it. So that's gonna be later on in the video, but now we're gonna do some other cool stuff before then. It also depends on the weather. You can see it's very nice out, but it's also very windy. So the balloon sometimes doesn't actually run when it's very windy out and it's swaying pretty, pretty fiercely right there. It's funny because my mom, she watches my videos, so she actually gets ideas of things that she wants to do. Now this is gonna be her second time actually exploring Disney World, and I'm very excited to like show her all the newer things. I'm excited for Mickey and Minnie's Run of Railway. We're gonna try to get her on Rise of the Resistance. I don't know how that's gonna go, but we're gonna try, and uh, yeah. So she takes mental notes, and one of the things she wanted to do was go to the M&M store, and she wanted to get her face on M&Ms like I did when it first opened. So I said we're going to Disney Springs and that's gonna be the first thing we do. I'll tell you what, she really can take off in that scooter though. It's hard to keep up because she gets into like that tunnel vision and she just goes and she doesn't even know where she's going. Uh, well, maybe she does. Maybe she sees that gigantic M up there. But look at that. They even have little face masks for the M&Ms. It is so colorful inside here. In fact, I think this is kind of sad, but the last time I was here is when it first opened. I don't think I've really come back and seen any changes that they've done. I think it's only been open for less than a year though, so it's still very, very nice in here. My mom just said, do they have ears in here? Like, you know, mini ears? And I said, no, I don't think so, but that would be a good idea. Like to have a set of like M&M mini ears? Really, really fancy. Those are swim trunks, aren't they? Oh, they're, they're short. Are they? Oh, those are fancy. Oh, they're boxers. The cool thing about the M&M store is you can actually make your own M&Ms with your face or your logo on it or even Disney characters. Or you can just kind of pick whichever ones you want from the candy wall and it is massive. Look at all those M&Ms. The whole entire wall. The sweetest wall of all. $17 a pound and they have everything. They have maroon M&Ms, purple, light purple, dark blue, blue, light blue, aqua, dark green, electric green, yellow, orange. It goes on and on and on. Brownie M&Ms, coffee M&Ms, pretzel M&Ms, mint M&Ms, dark chocolate, crispy caramel, skills? What are you doing here? She got super excited now because she found the selection that's Mickey and M&M's. Look at that. This stuff is only sold here at Disney Springs, I believe, because it has the little Disney Springs logo. And look at this one has Minnie on it with her bow. Okay. Yeah, these are fancy. We were going to get some customized M&M's with our pictures on it, but it looks like there is a very long process for it. So I think we're going to have to come back and do it. My mom also said she doesn't want to get the M&M's now because then we're going to carry them around Disney Springs and they're going to melt. And I said, Mom, aren't M&M's the known candy that melts in your mouth, not in your hand? So I don't know. I guess, I guess we'll just wait and get them. My mom is the biggest M&M fan in the world, I think. Look at this. She's got shirts, 
shorts, pants. Let's get the baby a pair of socks. And now she wants to get the baby a pair of socks. Who a baby? <laughs> look at these umbrellas. They're so nice. And look at how colorful they are. Holy moly. You want, you need an umbrella? Here we go. There you go. Now you got an M&M &M umbrella. You take it. Now that we got my mom's M&M fix taken care of, I think we're gonna move along and actually get to one of the cool festivities that I talked about earlier today. We're gonna do the Ampicar boat ride. I am so excited. This is gonna be such a fun thing and it's a beautiful day out still, so we're definitely gonna enjoy it a lot more. Before we do that though, my mom's gotta snap a selfie with the M&Ms here. Snap a selfie. The vintage Ampicar rides or Italian taxis is $125 per ride and it can hold up to three to four passengers. Now, that is like three maybe adults and one child. Basically, you have the back seat and then the driver passenger side seat. So, uh, if you have a small one with us, maybe four, but max three adults. And also, if you dine at the boathouse, you receive a coupon, which I think you save $20. So once you get done eating, if you want to come out and do the cars, you could save $20, and then it's only like $110, which is really good. I mean, if you split that up between three people, maybe $35, $40 a person, and it really is something very rare and exciting to do. Look at this. It is so much fun. And there they go. That's going to be us soon. <laughs> And we're going with the classic red car. Look at this bad boy. Isn't it so beautiful? I really am so excited. <laughs> Mom can transfer over. She's got her cane. I think Mom's gonna have to sit in the front. We'll sit in the back. <laughs> oh, we're about to take off. <laughs> Hong Kong. Are you excited, Ma? I am. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my lord, that is amazing. Look at us. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> you loving it, bud? I'm loving it. It's so beautiful out too. Right? The back side of the boat dock with all the different boats back here. So amazing. We're gonna get a good look of all the Disney Springs. How many of these boats are there? Uh, so they made about 3,800 of them. Uh, they say there's about 400 left total in the world and only about 150 of those working in the world. So wow. We have eight of them. Wow. That's kind of sad. Hi friends. Look at that. What's the top speed for this bad boy? On the water, it's about six or seven miles an hour. Six wow. And... wow. On land, it can theoretically go up to about 70. 70? Wow. 70 on land, and then six or seven on the water. I wouldn't want to go 70. Uh, yeah, I'd be a little afraid to go 70 on here. <laughs> Gotta say hi to everyone. Yeah! <laughs> what was that? It looked like you were giving him the backhand. <laughs> Open her up. Here we go. Punch it, Chewy. <laughs> this is too good. <laughs> right, left, right, left. We're not going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think so far, Ma? You like it? I love it. Right? Yeah. So relaxing and peaceful. Yeah. How did you feel when we first dove into the water? Did you get scared? Yeah. You did, right? Yeah. <laughs> if we open this door right now, we would flood and sink. That's why we don't touch handles, right? Don't touch handles. <laughs> Look at the way that balloon is swaying in the air right there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's all I think. Like. <laughs> oh, 
I think I can. I think I can. Yeah. <laughs> that was so much fun. I love doing it. I think I've only done that three times. I did it once by myself, once with Adam the Woo, and then once with my sister and mom. And it's always amazing. I feel like every time you do it, it's just as thrilling as the first time. And if you have photo pass, they actually take photos of you and you can get them inside the shop with your photo pass from your My Disney experience. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing. Excellent. All right, you are good to go. Right on the memory maker. That's awesome. Look, and they even catch you as you're like landing in the water. That is so cool. They get some photos outside. Really awesome. It's it's included if you have the memory maker. It makes me so happy to see my mom enjoying things like that and her smiling. She thought she was like so like it was really awesome. It made me really happy when she was waving to everybody and she made sure to wave at everybody. And she was just like, oh, you, you, hey. And yeah, wow, really, really good experience. I love it there. Definitely worth something to do if you're in Disney Springs. It's, it, it'll make memories, that's all I gotta say. Before we actually go over to Aerofile and get in the helium balloon, we're gonna come back to Gideon's because when I stopped there earlier, they actually had no virtual wait. You actually just had to wait in line. So maybe we can get some cookies without having to wait. That would be, that would be fancy. And take a look at this. No virtual queue, this is all the way it is. So we can just walk in right now and that's really awesome. And they actually started the August uh, cookie menu and it has the Rocky Road, which is a dark chocolate, candied almond and toasted marshmallow. Might get one of those along with a uh, nitro cold brew. Still to this day, my favorite cookie at Gideon's was the uh, white Christmas cookie. So, so delicious. It's kind of like a white macadamia nut cookie and I wish they had come back, but I guess I'll have to wait till Christmas. Because they have a wheelchair ramp over on this side, I waited in line while my mom waited on that side and then we get to go in. You ready to go in? Here we go. Oh boy. Do you smell how amazing it smells in here? Right? There you go, make that turn. <laughs> back it up, back it up, oh, oh. Back it up, back it up, oh. There, oh, there it is. <laughs> Here's a look at all the cookies. Pistachio toffee. Here's the Rocky Road one right there. Cookies and cream, original chocolate chip, and peanut butter. Brunch, so so good and then don't get me on the uh, cake slices here gotta reach into the fire and grab your cookies <laughs> i ended up getting just my peanut butter cold brew my mom got the peanut butter cookie though right look at that holy moly the peanuts are falling off there and bonnie got the original chocolate chip so good. Also, we have peanut butter frosting or icing, and that's what you dip your cookies in. It's in that bag right there. I had to try my mom's peanut butter cookie. It looks really good, and I gotta try the uh, icing. Now, this icing you get on the side, it's only a dollar, and it's uh, all the different icings for the cakes. So we're gonna try it. Mm-hmm. Wow. That icing is a kicker. Holy moly. I highly recommend getting that icing. That, that's a game changer for me right there. I mean, I love the cookies in here, but now I can't wait to mix and match all the different cookies with the icings. My favorite thing to get here though is the iced coffee. I love it. You gotta shake it up because it's got the cocoa powder on top there. Would you wait several hours to get that cookie though, Ma? Oh yeah. Really? <laughs> How about you? Really? I love Gideon's, but 
I think the max I wait probably is like an hour. The virtual queue, I'll wait however long it is, as long as I'm actually here, but I probably would only wait like an hour uh, just standing in a line, and that'll be it. And that's only if I really wanna come out and get it. I would wait for an hour for the coffee. Now it's time we move along since we had our cookies and coffee and see Disney Springs from the air, 400 feet up in the air. I am so excited. We just signed our things. Guess what, guys? They're stopping it. There's lightning in the area. Yep. Sorry. What a shame, right? Oh. Oh well, well, I'd rather be safe, you know what I mean? It's not like you want to be up there during a storm, so I guess that's a good thing that they stopped it. They refunded me, like we really got right up there. We signed our waivers and I paid and they refunded me, but wow, we were so close. We literally were this close. So instead, we're gonna hop into Disney style and uh, do a little shopping. Maybe I'm gonna get my mom to buy ears today. She's been wanting a pair of ears, and I might be able to talk her into it. Oh, that's a hat for you, Mom. Oh, my Lord. That's the one. Oh, perfect. The silver tuna. I love it. You got to get it. That's the one. That she looked at the price and put it back. How much is it? $34.99. Oh, she's getting it. And we'll get her ears another night. Maybe we'll get her ears when we go to Magic Kingdom, but she's getting this. I already got her an umbrella. And holy moly, I found something else that's really cool that I haven't seen before. Take a look at all this villains merchandise. I love it. This first one we got here, it says Wicked on the front. And then take a look at the back. It's got Ursula. It's got Maleficent and the Evil Queen. And then over here, gotta take this hat. My mom's getting this hat. They've got, uh, oh, this villains one over here. It says villains on the front. And then on the back, it's got Dr. Facilier. It's got Scar, Jafar, and Hades. I love it. They also have a nice little Haunted Mansion hat right here. This is a lounge fly one. Oh, really cool that they're going all villains. Now that we've got my mom a new hat, I'm a little sad we couldn't do the uh, helium balloon ride because, you know, the weather. But like I said, I feel better knowing that we weren't up there during a storm. So we might come back and do it. Now I think we'll get ourselves something to eat because the weather's coming. We know a storm's coming. So if you know the balloon's not running, expect to be rain or lightning in the area within the next hour or so. So now I think it's time we get something to eat. eat. As we were making our way up to get something to eat, we came across the Ever After Jewelry Company. I've never been inside this store, I don't think, but my sister is like, like really freaking out. She wants to go in here. Now I see why they wanted to come in here. The Dunium Burks, the Alex and Annie's, the uh, Pandora's. You guys are getting all excited here. <laughs> This place is really fancy. I like how they have all the different sayings on the walls. Let your eyes sparkle and shine. Take you wonder by wonder. And then over on this side, paint with all the colors of the wind. Oh, and it's actually really pretty because they have the uh, butterflies right there. Really does look like Pocahontas. I'm trying to catch her creeping on some, some Mickey ears here. You like the ones with Daisy on top? Yeah. Oh, that's perfect then. Are you checking yourself out? You are, aren't you? <laughs> See, we didn't even have to wait. Now we got ears, Mom. Huh? Yep, we got ears. I knew it. The second she was trying them on, I was like, those are the ones. <laughs> it's the only ones she picked up. I'm like, those are the ones. The silver tuna. Now I think we're gonna get ourselves something to eat. And I wanna take my mom and sister to one of my favorite restaurants here. The polite pig. I want to get some barbecue, some Brussels sprouts, some sweet potato tater tots, all the works. I am so excited. I love it here. I think I come here probably like three out of the four times that I ever come to Disney Springs. It is that good. 
last time that I ate here, I got this shrimp for the flavors of Florida and it was phenomenal. Some shrimp and grits. Today, we're gonna do something I'm quite familiar with. I love this place so much and I think we're gonna get the butcher board and we're gonna add ribs and share it. So that's gonna come with uh, polite pork, smoked chicken, prime brisket, cheddar sausage, and ribs. But also I think we might sub out the sausage and get smoked turkey because I had this last time, it was so good. And then also it comes with two sides. So sweet potato tots and Brussels sprouts all the way. I am so excited for some polite pig. And we actually got additional sides. I didn't know this, but you can get additional sides for $6. And one of the best things about polite pig are the sides. They are so good. So I think we got the sweet potato tots, the crispy Brussels sprouts, which those are my absolute favorite. Then we got the corn ribs, which is like the seasonal side. It's basically like uh, corn on the cob, but ribbed. It's so, so good. And then I think mac and cheese, because Bonnie would like to try the mac and cheese, and the baked beans. With the butcher board, you get two sides automatically. So then you just pay an extra $18 and you get three more sides. I don't show off the sauce a lot here but they have a nice sauce bar usually I eat my barbecue without barbecue and I know that sounds funny but they got barbecue ranch Thomas's southern gold sweet sauce they got porter sauce and then over here they've got Mary's hot sauce mayonnaise ketchup and uh, back at barbecue ranch oh well, that's such a strange combination and just like that the butcher board has arrived take a look at this huge right i mean honestly so this portion is uh 42 dollars and then you add on the ribs i think it's an additional seven dollars but then we got the extra size these are six dollars a piece look at the corn ribs those are so amazing and then baked beans and then mac and cheese so so good smoked chicken brisket ribs brussels sprouts cheddar sausage pulled pork coleslaw cornbread pickles the works are you excited you look hungry <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> I know, look at you. <laughs> My go to favorite thing, though, has to be the brisket here. The brisket and the Brussels sprouts, put them together, and that's all I need. But everything else is just, it's, it's beautiful. So, so good. Bonnie does not like Brussels sprouts. Please try the Brussels sprouts with me. I'm just really, I, I think these Brussels sprouts make people a fan of Brussels sprouts, believe it or not. Because I didn't like Brussels sprouts until I had them and now I'm upset. Yeah, get a nice good one. There we go. No, the struggle is real here. Here, take one of these ones. Fork this one off my fork right here. You got it. There we go. Boom. Pull it off. There we go. Are you ready? Yep. Cheers. Cheers, Brussels. Right? I'm not too sure how to eat these corn riblets, but do you just eat it like this? Or do you have to eat the corn off it like a corn on the cob? I gotta find out. I don't know, but it looks so good. These are the newest seasonal item. All right, I'm gonna try these. And thank God I asked, because I would've just probably bit into it, but you eat it like corn on the cob. So I'm gonna give it a go here. The more I actually snap into this, the more it is so delicious. And it's so hard. I think they fry it. Like, th this is good, good, wow. Was not expecting that. I was a little hesitant, but this is impressive. I do have to wonder though, the coffee rub brisket might be my favorite brisket out of anywhere. Does this beat Trails End? Do you know what I mean? So if you have eaten Trails End brisket and you've had Polite Pig brisket, let me know which one's better because I, honestly, I, it might be a tie. And they're two different types. This is coffee ribbed, uh, coffee ribbed, coffee rubbed. And I think the brisket at Trails End is a pecan one. I think that's how it is. I'm not too sure, but I love it. Now we are heading out. We just got finished, and it looks like a storm is a brewing. I'm happy we weren't up in the air for this. Yeah, look at this. The storm is really coming down. All right, like I said, I'm happy we weren't up in the air for this. I mean, it's been like about a... Oh! Oh, my Lord! Right <laughs> yeah, where's the thunder? We've seen the lightning. There it is. 
we are parked in Orange Garage, but I'm gonna have my mom drive over here in the Lime Garage, and then I'm gonna run and go get the car and then pick her up over here. So that way she doesn't get wet and the uh, electric scooter doesn't get wet. I got the trusty hat to protect the camera, and uh, yeah, as long as she gets in there, fine. I mean, it's raining, it's raining pretty heavily. I think I feel like I need to get something that goes like this. I would have brought my umbrella, but I didn't think it was gonna rain today. <gasps> you know what I could have done? I could have used the umbrella I bought my mom from the M&M store. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, it's too late now. <laughs> We're in it. We're just enjoying Disney Springs soaking wet. I don't mind. <laughs> Well, I got a little bit of a break from the rain by cutting through here, but look how crowded it is in here. Holy moly! It was a light rainstorm, kind of, when we first walked in, and by the time we came out here, now it is just a downpour. I should have went back and grabbed the umbrella. It's too late now. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Now, I am officially a wet street rat. Thank you. <laughs> and somehow, I need to figure out how to get from the orange garage over to Lime Garage to pick up my mom and sister. You need a ride? Yeah! <laughs> well, I made it over to the Lime Garage. We got them all back and dry, and we're gonna put the uh, electric scooter in the car. And uh, that's gonna call it a day. What a fun first day together. We got uh, a lot of things accomplished. We did the Ampy car. We almost uh, went up in the air on the uh, helium balloon, but luckily we didn't because a gigantic storm appeared and uh, we probably would have been blown all over the place. Anywho's, I hope you guys are excited for the videos coming up. We're gonna spend time with my mom and my sister in Disney. Also, we're gonna do Universal Studios for the first time. Well, me and my sister will. Uh, my mom's probably not gonna do it. Uh, there's not much she can do there anyway. But uh, we're gonna do some of that and then some other local things around uh, Orlando. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.